Dig North here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys my um, electrolysis machine that I made. Just a plastic water jug, um, some old silverware. Connect that to the positive, and then uh, got the negative end over here, which I'll connect to the item that I'm cleaning. This is just here to kind of keep the wire from sitting right on the side. Uh, using the power supply selectable between 3 and 12 volts uh, for the pennies I'm going to run it on 4.5 that's uh, just a salt water solution I've got uh, two pennies that I found at the old ball field give them a clean and then I've got these five pennies that I found at the fairgrounds give those a clean too and then I'll try cleaning up one of these pieces of iron, see how that turns out. And, uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, show you how it works. Okay, I've got my two pennies that I found at the ball field connected. I don't have any gator clips or else I'd use those, but key rings seem to work pretty good anyway. Alright. Make sure it's in there all the way not touching the positive steel and then I'll just turn my power supply on and it starts working immediately so this is pretty simple as long as uh, when your power supply is turned on the negative and the positive don't touch you're good to go so I'll leave that in there for a minute or two. It doesn't doesn't take too long at all. And then I've got some some soft brushes I'm, I'm going to use, clean it up, and I'll show you guys how how effective it is. Okay, so my two cents have been in there for about five minutes now. Take them out. How they look fresh out of there as I thought that one's pretty new so that'll just go in the junk pile this one I'll clean up and I'll uh, show you what it looks like after so here are the two pennies cleaned up this is uh, the modern one 1991 and then uh, this is the other one 1946 pretty nice uh, as you can see the electrolysis really does a good job of taking all the the green and the tarnish and everything off the coin I mean that looks that looks nice like the day it was lost there we go so it's pretty cool just wanted to show you guys that I'll uh, run some of these other pennies through it and maybe a piece of iron and I'll get back with you Okay, so I finished cleaning the pennies with the electrolysis. That's the 46. Looks pretty good. And that's, uh, that one there is from the old ball field. And uh, these three pennies here were from the fairgrounds. This is uh, 67 Canadian cent, 1867 to 1967. Uh, 63. And then that one I thought was a wheat cent is definitely a wheat cent. Uh, when I cleaned it up, I was quite surprised to see the date on this. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out in the camera. 1920 so thought that was pretty neat wasn't really expecting to find anything quite that old yeah, 1920 yeah it's hard to make out on the camera but it's what it is um, so now I'm going to run 
that 47 silver dime that I found at the nature park through the electrolysis some fresh water salt water in there and uh, I'll show you how that goes okay so I've got my 47 silver dime connected place it in the water and uh, I'll turn my power supply on 4.5 volts and I mean it works so fast I'm literally only going to leave this in there for about 30 seconds or so and then we'll pull it out and we'll take a look we'll give it a quick brush with a just a soft nylon bristle brush should take all that tarnish off of it should look pretty good we'll try that we'll see uh, see how that turns out So it's lifting quite a bit of the tarnish off already, but I'm going to put it in for a minute or two and then I'll take it out and give it a clean. Okay, so here's my three silver dimes after the electrolysis. That's the 64. <clears throat> pretty nice this is the 59 so this one's pretty worn it's got some scratches on it but the back side is fairly fairly decent still a little bit of that black tarnish on there but I'm happy with that anyway and there's the 47 and if you remember from the previous video and earlier in this video I think uh, I show a picture of this before the electrolysis and it was really tarnished like I couldn't even barely make out the date on it <clears throat> there's the back side again you can still see some of that tarnish up near the top I don't know if I'll be able to get that off without damaging the silver at all but again good enough for me <clears throat> and then uh, here's my two pennies that I tried the electrolysis uh, this wheat back is pretty, it, it was definitely toasty when I started cleaning it. And uh, as I'm running it through the electrolysis, you can see all these pits starting to show up. So I'm going to stop it right there. I'm not going to clean it any further for fear of the coin disintegrating. <clears throat> but now you can read the date a little bit. A little bit more clearly on the back of the coin, 1920. I was pretty happy to find that where I found it in the old fairgrounds. And there's that 46 Canadian penny. And this one cleaned up pretty nice. It's pretty corroded on the back. Again, it's pitting like the uh, the back side of this wheat scent. But um, <clears throat> overall, I'd say the electrolysis does a pretty pretty thorough job. I mean, I'm, I'm just, these are all just going in my personal collection. It's not, uh, it's not like any of these coins are for show or I don't think I'll be selling any of them anytime soon. So, yeah. thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm definitely planning on putting out more videos this year. So thanks for commenting on the videos, thanks for subscribing, and happy hunting.